and welcome to the Stamp Camp. Today I'm going to show you how to take the clear mount stamp cases that we sell on page 7 of the big catalog. They, you get four in a pack for $5.95. These are also the same cases that our clear mount stamps come in. But you can buy just the cases. So to start what you're going to do is you're going to take a piece of designer series paper. This is from the Sycamore Street, which is free right now with the minimum $50 order. And you're going to cut that 7 by 10 and 5 eighths. Then you're going to open up your case, and it has a little plastic in front, and you're just going to slide this down in there. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to take it back out. I just wanted to show you how to put that in. What I did was I went in my computer in Word and I typed out notes. I cut it out with the labels collection framelits and then a coordinating piece of designer series paper. This is Island Indigo. And I'm going to stick those together. Now you could make your, your notes um, using the MDS or any you could do it with stamp punches and then I'm going to just put that there because I know that's going to be in the front of my notebook and now I'm ready to put that back in so you just slide it down in there and you fold it gotta make sure I got it in there straight what happens when you take it out and put it back in there. There we go. So there is my notes. I have it a little off center, but just move it over a little bit. I should have gave this a little bit more room here. Now for the inside, what you're going to do is you're going to take a little junior legal pad, and I did need to cut the bottom off so that it would fit inside like that. I took this piece of designer series paper that was left over and I ran sticky strip on both ends. So I'm going to peel those off. Line that up. This paper here, you're going to have to measure according to the size of your legal pad, but mine is um, 5 by 2 inches. So I stuck it down on the front and then just fold it over to the back. Nice rub, and then that gets stuck in there. Now you can sticky strip that on the inside so it won't fall out, or you can leave it so that it's easier to write on and stick it back in. I left a little space at the bottom so that I could put in a little ink pen if I wanted to, but now I'm going to show you how to create the pocket for the side over here. So we're going to take our coordinating cardstock, which is the Island Indigo, and it's cut seven and a half by seven and a half. And we're going to use our diagonal simply score tool here. And you're going to use some wax paper and you're just going to rub that over the top. This helps so that the stylus glides a lot better, smoother. And we're going to score this first one at three and a quarter. Turn it. And now we're going to score it at three and a half. Turn it. Three and a quarter again. Turn three and a half. Now you'll notice that you have these little triangles here. What you're going to do is you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut those out. And because I don't want my flap at the top here, Actually, I don't want it here, I believe. It's going to fit like this, yes. So I want to cut this off, so I need to cut this one here. I'll cut them off so you can see how it would fold up like an envelope. What you're doing is you're creating an envelope. So fold on those score lines and then fold up. And then this would be your envelope. Put a little 
glue dot there to seal it shut. But for my notebook, I don't want it to be able to close. So I'm just gonna come in here with my cutter and I'm going to cut that Easier said than done. I don't know why it's moving on me. There we go. So I fold those in. I'm just going to trim this a little bit. I don't know why it folded. Now I'm going to seal this shut. I'm just going to put a little sticky strip on here. Find my end. my pocket. The next thing I did was I took a piece of coordinating designer series paper. It's actually the same paper so you can do any either side and that is one inch by five inches and I'm just going to bring that across like so. Looks like I can cut that down just a smidget there. And then I used the flower fusion and made these three little flowers and I'm just going to stick them together and then you can fold up the petals a little bit to give it a little dimension take one of our nice big curled and put that in the center like so then take glue dots or since I don't have them right here I'm going to use my tape it's a little hard when you got that pearl there stick that right there in the center and then this can be sticky stripped inside our notebook holder case. Put my case in here. Remove my sticky strip. inside like so and then what I do is I put like four five however many you want envelopes in there and there you have our clear case notebook thanks for stopping by